What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure a plumbing and piping system. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a PVC sanitary pipe type. And then we are going to load pipe fittings required for the plumbing system. And we are going to specify default sanitary piping settings for the main and branch piping. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to add a pipe size. Okay, so this is the basic things that you need to do when you plan a plumbing system. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a pipe type. Okay, so here on our project browser, so I go to the families here and then look for... Uh, pipes so if I expand the pipes here as you can see I only have here one uh, pipe type PVC sanitary so let's say what I want to do I want to create a pipe type for my vent okay so to do that the first thing that you need to do is you just need to duplicate the current pipe type that you have so like in my case I have PVC sanitary so to do that, you just need to double click this to open up the type properties. So just double click and it will open up the type properties. So another way to uh, open up the type properties, I'm going to close this one, is by simply right clicking and then selecting here type properties. All right. And then after that, like what I've said, I'm going to duplicate that. So just duplicate and then change the name here. So I'm going to specify vent, PVC vent. Okay, so I'll just select OK here. And then after that, here on my routing preferences, I'm going to select here edit. Just click that one and it will open up your routing preferences for your pipe type PVC vent. Okay. So for this one, the pipe segment here that we have is uh, plastic schedule 40. Okay, so if you click the drop down arrow, you can see other options here. Okay, but for now, I'll just select plastic schedule 40. Okay, so that's for my PBC. And then for my elbow here, so I'll just... Uh, leave it as it is. So I'll just select this one. Bend PBC Schedule 40 uh, DWV. Okay, so DWB stands for Domestic uh, Waste Vent. Okay, so DWV. So that's our type. Okay. So the Domestic Waste Vent. And then after that, for the Preferred Junction T, I'll just specify here the T connection. So you can also click that one. So for you to be able the for you to be able to see the other type of junction type, which is tap. Okay, but for this one, I'll just select T. Note that you can also specify here the minimum size and the maximum size. Alright, so for my plastic schedule 40, so the minimum size that it will be available. When you select it is one half inch and then the maximum is 12 inches. For my elbow, I just select all. For my preferred junction type, I'll just select all as well. Okay, and then what else? I can also specify here my junction so I can click the drop down arrow and then I can select from here. So instead of T sanitary PBC schedule 40 DWV standard, so I'll I'll select T vent PBC schedule 40 DWV standard for my junction. Okay, and then for the cross fitting, okay, so I'll just use T reducing double vent. Okay, so I'll select that one. What else? So for my transition, so I'll just use this default settings again. You can specify here the minimum size and maximum size. So in my case, I'll just selecting all. And then for the union, so I'll just use this one, PBC. I don't want to put a flange and I don't want to put a, an end cup. Okay, so after I set up my PBC vent pipe type, so I'm going to select here, okay. 
All right. So as you can see, it's now included here on my list. So I have PVC sanitary and I also have PVC vent. Okay. So I'm going to select here. Okay. And after that, I'll select here modify. So another way to uh, configure the plumbing and piping system is you can also add or load piping component into your project. So let's say, for example, I want to add here my uh, trap or P-trap. Okay, so if you already have that loaded inside or saved inside your computer, you just need to load it to your project by going to the insert tab and then load family. And then after that, you just need to select that family that you would like to load. So like in my case, I want to load the trap. The P-Trap PBC Schedule 40 Domestic Waste Bent. So I'll just need to select that one and then I'm going to select here OK or Open. Okay, so once you do that, you should be able to see it now here on our project browser under uh, Pipe Fittings. So I'm going to expand the Pipe Fittings and then I should be able to see that one. So as you can see, there's my P-Trap PBC Schedule 40 DWV family loaded on my project browser okay right so if you do not have this you can also explore your load autodesk uh, family so you can click that one and then after that you can search the content here so maybe you can just search for trap enter and then you should be able to see here the different uh, type of that family here okay so you just need to select and then after that you just need to load so let's say i'll select this one i'll select this one uh, i'll select this one and then after that just select load and it's now loaded here so as you can see there's now my traps loaded under pipe fittings okay so another way to configure the plumbing and piping system is by editing your mechanical settings or modifying your mechanical settings. So where is this? You just need to go to systems and then after that from the plumbing and piping you can click that mechanical settings arrow or you can also type MS. So that's the shortcut of mechanical settings or you just click this icon here. Click that one and then it will open up your mechanical settings so you have the duct settings and then you also have the pipe settings okay now for example for the pipe setting what i want to do is uh, i want to add a size okay so if i want to add a size here so i'll just need to go to the segments and sizes and then after that select the segment here so you can click the drop down arrow and then let's say I want the plastic schedule 40. So I click that one. And let's say for example, I do not have one half inch. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to delete. Okay. All right. So I don't have the one half. So let's say I want that to be add. So that's why there's an option here, new size. So just select new size and then specify here one half inch. And then specify the inside diameter. So let's say uh, 5, 8 inch. And then the outside diameter is uh, 27 over 32 inch. And then I'll just select OK. And as you can see, it's now added here for my plastic schedule 40, 1 half inch. Okay, so you can include this size on the size list and on the sizing so you just need to check both okay right <clears throat> so another thing that uh, you can do here is you can also go to the uh, conversion so you go to the conversion and then go to the system so instead of hydronic supply you can click the drop down arrow and then look for uh, sanitary or vent for example so let's say I select here sanitary. So I want to set up my sanitary. And then I can specify here the pipe type that I can 
uh, use whenever I run the automatic uh, pipe layout. Okay, so by default, it will use the pipe types PBC sanitary pipe type when I run the automatic layout and with an elevation here. So the default elevation is this. So this is for the main pipe. And then I can also specify here the settings for my branch pipe. So again, I'm going to set my pipe type to PBC sanitary type. Okay, so this is the type of pipe that will be used when you run an automatic layout. And also the default elevation which is uh, minus 4 feet. Okay. Right, so after you set up that one, so you just need to select your OK. So basically, these are the uh, sample settings that you can use to configure your plumbing and piping system. Okay, so on our next lesson, so we are going to design a plumbing system. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.